Greetings board members. Uh, I'd like to give you a brief update on what we're going to see at the board meeting uh, later this week. We're going to uh, have a couple of exciting guests visiting us. I'm super excited that we're going to have our Teacher of the Year, Dana Miles, joining us. Uh, Patty and I had the chance to see her at the ESD 112 meeting a few weeks ago, and I think she has an inspirational message, and it's going to be a really uh, fun time. So that'll be during lunch on Wednesday. We'll also be joined by Mike Miotti, Executive Director at the uh, Washington Student Achievement Council, as well as representatives from the public four-year universities to talk to us a little bit about proposed changes they have to the college academic distribution requirements. These are the minimum standards that students have to meet in order to be considered for admission at our public colleges. We just want to make sure that the direction they're going is consistent with what we have in the graduation requirements and Linda Drake's going to walk us through those implications and the concerns that we've raised. Um, Arielle is going to bring us uh, the folks that she's been talking to out in community to help us understand what the issues are that are bubbling up from those conversations. We're going to hear directly from the folks that we've contracted with. Uh, and we'll also, in advance of that, talk uh, with Stephanie, who's going to give a broad overview of some of the strategies we're doing to reach out to both uh, these communities as well as the broader set of stakeholders that we communicate with on a regular basis. We're going to hear from uh, Tim Garshow from WASDA, Joel Ani from WASA, and Scott Seaman from AWSP and so they're going to just share really briefly with us some of the updates that they have from their respective organizations. Erica Hernandez-Scott who is the Interim Executive Director for the Professional Educator Standards Board to come in and facilitate a conversation around uh, the launch of the strategic plan and really the focus of this first one is to kind of outline what we want to accomplish in the strategic plan and to start to dig into our shared beliefs and understandings as we uh, do that work. We have a couple of different waivers to approve, uh, including uh, a couple of schools renewing for the credit-based waiver as well as some new schools uh, seeking the emergency waiver that was approved for uh, graduation. In addition, we're going to have an overview of all the waivers that the board has responsibility to either administer or write rules for. And then in the afternoon, we'll uh, have a conversation around private schools and uh, the first round of approvals for our private schools. We have about 150 schools ready for approval. We will also get an update from the superintendent, and we're going to hear from uh, the ad hoc committee that's looking at bylaws and shared agreements and so we have a draft of the bylaws to walk through and one other additional business item that I neglected to mention will be addressed on the first day uh, which is the uh, approval of the annual charter school report. <music> Ha, 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 ha.